G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today me and Amy are together. We're going to minister to 10 people. Yes. So uh, if you would like to receive ministry on future of these videos, just write your name in the comments and I will schedule you so that you can also receive ministry. All right, so the first person I want to minister to is Francois. All right, so Francois, the Lord said to me, for you, this is a time of divine appointments. And the Lord showed me how you connect with people for friendship and also for provision. And the Lord showed me Jesus coming into Jerusalem and he got the, the cult. Uh, and then uh, they brought the cult to him and he got on the cult and he went in. And so it was just supernatural connection and provision uh, that the Lord uh, prepared for them. And so I felt the same thing is going to happen in your life also. God bless you, Francois. Hey, may God bless you, Francois. This next word is for Marika. Marika, God loves you so much. While praying for you, I saw an ex interesting picture. I saw how you were like working inside the house, um, and then you had all these rakes and shovels and garden equipment in the living room. And I was just there around in the corner for a long time, and you were like stressing, what am I going to do with it? Why is it there? But I just saw how God says, in this new season of your life, you're going to pick that up and you're going to work outside. And I just saw how God is like picking you up, putting you in a different environment. He's already given you the new tools, and I just see how God says it's going to be a lot peaceful than you think it's going to be and I just see how God is restoring strength he's restoring joy but also so much um, peace and calmness I just feel the Lord is taking back what the enemy has stolen from your peace and he's giving you so much calmness um, Mareka God loves you so much and I, I really believe that there's an anointing of healing over your life and God has called you to be a peacemaker God bless you Hey, uh, Maraka, God bless you. Uh, I prayed earlier for you and the Lord showed me how He stops the car, he, he gets you out of the driver's seat, He puts you in the passenger seat and how the Lord Himself climbed into the driver's seat and He even led other people in your life uh, that rise up as leaders to sit in, the, in that seat. And the Lord says, trust in me, you don't always have to be in control, just put your trust in, him, in me and you'll see how the Lord will fight the battle on your behalf. All right, Maraika, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Emery. Hey, right, Emery, uh, I know in your heart you're really trusting God to speak with you. And so the Lord said to me uh, that a season is ending in your life that will never repeat itself and a new season is dawning. And I saw you, uh, like the Israelites, go through the Red Sea. Uh, but it was interesting because I saw it, them starting to go into the Red Sea in the evening and right through the night people were walking and it was only the very next morning once everybody was through. And I felt this, this transition of yours is also in a time where it's like a night season. You can't see clearly what is happening and you got to push uh, and, you know, to, to have a... Uh, through the night is difficult but i felt that the lord says just push through this night season you'll see how you come out uh, on the other side and everything has changed God bless you, Emery. Amen. God bless you, Auntie Emery. God loves you. God bless you. This next word is for Walter. Walter, God loves you so much. And I just see how God is just like um, God picked up jo um, Joshua, uh, Jonah and he took him to the place he needed to be. I just feel that's what God is doing with you. Okay, it's not as hectic as sorting you up as a fish, but I just, just feel how God is picking you up and taking you exactly where you, where you need to be. And then the picture God showed me for you was how you were kind of thrown into the middle of something. Um, it, it's like, if I could, like, like you know those... Um, those arenas where there's gladiators and then all of a sudden and there's like there's already like this big battle going on and lions and, and everything going on and it was like you were thrown in the middle of it but I feel how the Lord says to you you are called to be a warrior but just like Daniel had those like with those dark lions when they when they had those the, their mouths shut I just feel that's the same what God is going to do for you do not be afraid of the lions do not be afraid of the enemy because God is protecting you and God says that you will be victorious and you will be strong through me so I just feel the Lord says whatever the enemy throws at you just know that the mouth of the lion is shut and you will, you don't need to be fearful because God um, says the victory is already his hope this makes sense God bless you Walter God loves you hello Walter uh, so the Lord showed me a swimming pool that's half full and uh, how you try to sit on this floaty on the pool but because it's not nicely full sometimes it kind of touch the bottom also 
and then the Lord came and he filled the swimming pool all the way to the top and now you had a lot of space where you could sit on your floaty and you could float around and you were very happy and I just felt that the Lord uh, gave me a picture of what he's going to do with your finances and how you're going to float above uh, with your finances and how the Lord is going to fill up uh, your life uh, that's like that swimming pool. I say, God bless you, Walter. Uh, so the next word is for Maxine. So Maxine, there's an interesting thing that God showed me uh, about you doing sales. And, and I felt you're going to connect with a, a company, uh, you're going to build a network, you're going to sign people up, you're going to have products, you're going to get people also, you're going to sell it, but you're going to get other people also to sell the same products. And I just felt that the Lord is going to connect you into a, a network that you're going to really love. You're going to love the people there, you're going to love the product, uh, and you're going to be involved selling that product. I say, like, God bless you, Maxine. Amen. God loves you, Maxine. This next word is for Marie. Mary, God loves you so much. And just while praying for you, I just feel God is giving you so much wisdom. There is just so much wisdom that God is giving you. And I just feel like this type of wisdom is like, is, if I could describe it, um, you know, when, in, um, when Joseph had to save um, Egypt because of the big famine and then God gave him, he knew how to be a good farmer, he knew how to get all the resources for the next seven years and I just feel the Lord says that's the type of person you are. You have been in training, you went through all these different situations, you are right now still trying to do all these different things but I just feel the Lord says I'm preparing you for such a time as this and I just feel the Lord says that whatever your circumstances is or your situation, God is going to give you so much peace, God is going to tell you exactly what you need to do that's not only going to bring breakthrough for you in your life and your family's lives lives but to a lot of people um, I really want to encourage you, you are an in encourage you you are an inspiration and I really feel God is going to use you in a mighty way so when you need wisdom close your eyes rest in God spend time with him and he'll speak to you God loves you God bless you Marie hey Marie uh, God bless you so Carolina so the Lord chose me a wind testing tunnel and now, you know, like they test cars and they test different like uh, airplanes and things in those t tunnels. I see how the Lord puts you in that tunnel. And every part of you that resists the flow of the air, the Lord make changes here. Helps you to, to um, come in line with Him. And then I see uh, after the Lord worked on you, the wind just flows perfectly over you, with you, and you learn how to flow and work with the Holy Spirit. And so the Lord says, the areas in your life where you resist the Holy Spirit, don't fear, just, uh, uh, just come in the presence of God and allow the Lord to come and bring His fire and purify you and help you to get all of that resistance areas in your life out of the way so the the wind of the holy spirit can just flow evenly over your life god bless you amen god bless you this next word is for mariana mariana i got a very interesting picture for you while praying for you i saw how you are driving this um beautiful train it's like this beautiful red it's a stunning train and i see how you're you're in this train this is your life and how um, there were three people that left the train um, and, and got off and you were very hard so about it because you really they were a part of your life but also the Lord says that their season of you is done and then I saw how the more you kept on going then you found peace of Jesus and, and you just said okay God I'll just let go there were another 30 people waiting for you to pick them up so they can join you on your train and I just feel the Lord says um, don't be sad about the, the few people that are leaving you right now in your life the Lord says that's season is over the Lord says I'm preparing wonderful people and it's qu a, quite a big amount and I just feel the Lord says I'm sending people it's gonna help you if you're calling um, be Ha be good friends but also mentors encouragers um yeah i just i just really feel the lord says i have a space for you that i've prepared for you and i want you just to know that i have a plan god loves you so much god bless you hey mariana uh, god loves you very much i yeah. uh, uh, thank you for commenting and being part of unity with heaven all right so next uh, is willem van sale okay so willem i saw you come to a house and that house was a picture of your life uh, your purpose uh, even um, uh, the things that you're going to do in the future, uh, the ministry that's going to flow out of your life, uh, but you didn't have a key to unlock it. 
and then you started to pray and to intercede, uh, being filled with the Holy Spirit, and then day to day the Lord gave you a key and another key and another key, and you unlocked all the doors of that house until you could go everywhere in that house. And I felt that the Lord says, this is a season of unlocking your future, unlocking your purpose, and unlocking your ministry. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Doris. Doris, um, I got a very interesting picture for you. So while praying for you, I saw how God has placed all these mentors and leaders in your life, um, people with different skills. So if you were to um, ask a pilot about gardening, but all this pilot talks about is flying, and then obviously you're not going to get the right questions. But if you go to a gardener and you ask about gardening, then you're going to get the right questions. And I just saw how God um, placed like so much gave you the vocabulary that you needed and he gave you um, so much wisdom in your words and the questions that you ask i just feel the lord says now is the time to ask questions now is the time to learn and I, I just feel the lord is going to place different people in your life and he's going to give you the wisdom of how to connect with them what questions you need to ask and i feel the lord says don't be afraid because you know if, if you don't try you never know and i just feel the lord says that don't hold back and feel oh what if that what if this i just feel the lord is giving you that boldness to go up to people to ask the questions that you need um, for your life and then also I just feel the Holy Spirit is also filling up your hearts with prayers that you're going to pray to God so I just feel there's a lot of um, anointing in the words that you speak now and a very big importance about it and I really feel that now is the time to learn because um, yeah I, I just feel there's a lot of amazing things that's gonna come but God wants you to right now just just learn some new things. God loves you. God bless you. Well, hey, Doris, uh, God bless you. Uh, so we go through times in our life where the Lord gives us a lot of revelation and that builds uh, a foundation for our lives for future things that we do. If we don't know and we haven't learned and approved ourselves, then we can't get out of this level where we are to the next level where the Lord can promote us. And so that's what the Lord wants to do. He wants you to be also be a good steward. Uh, God bless you, uh, Doris. Uh, family. Uh, it's wonderful for me and Amy to, to minister to all of you. Uh, if you're new to Unity with Heaven, I want to encourage you. Uh, you can like and subscribe. You can write your name in the comments if you also want to receive ministry in the future. Uh, we look forward to see you. Uh, God bless you. Bye. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.